Okay, in this we're going to look at how to set up your development environment for Perl if you are working on a Mac. Now, luckily for Mac users, uh, it, the Mac operating system is based on a Unix operating system and it already comes with Perl installed. So that's one less thing that you have to do. But I do want you to know about the Perl website, perl.org. It's a good place to go to to get documentation, information about learning Perl and about the community and um, getting additional resources that you might need in working with Perl. So uh, you don't need to install it because it's already on your Mac. But the other thing that will be helpful is to have an editor the editor will be able to interact and interface with Perl to help you find errors and also test and run your programs. So a good free one that is available is um, Text Wrangler. Now Text Wrangler is available. You can go to barebones.com slash products slash text wrangler slash download and you can download it from here. And it's also available on the App Store. So if you have an App Store icon on your computer, you can open up the App Store and you can just do a search for Text Wrangler. And then from here you can download it and install it onto your computer. So I'm going to assume that you are able to download and install either one of these versions from the App Store or from the website onto your computer. And then in your Applications folder, you should have the icon for Text Wrangler. And so you're going to open up Text Wrangler. Yep. And mine's loaded up. and. We have a, a split screen here. Let me size this over to take up some space here. So we have an area in here where we can type in our code that we're going to work with in Perl. And we have a, a documents panel over here that we can slide in and out and we can have multiple files open. So the way this will work in the Mac is, let's just type in um, a little bit of text to do like your first program in Perl. So uh, we start out with the exclamation, or pound sign exclamation point, which is also called uh, the shebang line. Shebang for sharp, the pound sign is the sharp symbol and the exclamation point is the bang, so they call it the shebang line. And this is the path to where Perl is, so user bin Perl. And I'll talk more about that in depth in another uh, lesson. And for this we're just going to do a little test to see uh, if everything is connected and working in, in Text Wrangler. So we're just going to do a simple print statement and we'll do the, the default um, Hello Perl instead of Hello World. And then on our toolbar up here, we have a run button, which is this pound sign exclamation, the shebang. We can click that and choose run. And here is our output. So it printed the actual hello world. So you can switch back and forth. You know, I would, you would save this. You can save this as um, hello.pl. So I can do save. I'll just put it on my desktop real quick. Hello, and then .pl. And for your line breaks, you want to make sure that you, you save it using Unix. If I hit save, and then go, you can see that once I save it, now it recognizes that this is a Perl file and it color codes, which is helpful when you are editing. So now I'm going to run this again. And it says, we have non-Unix line breaks. 
and it's saying that the script interpreters typically require Unix line breaks to work properly. So do you want to run it anyway? So yeah, if you hit run, it's going to work okay, and it's, it's keeping, it's kind of like this is the one from before and this is the new one. Um, so I'm just going to close this output window so that when we do a new one, um, we won't see the results from the previous one. So I'm going to hit go save. So it once every time we go to run that, it's going to give you this message about the line break. So it's going to get to be annoying. So I'm just going to do file save as. I'm going to give it the same file name, but this time I'm going to change it from Windows to Unix line breaks and save. And I'm going to replace the old one. And now if I run it again, then it doesn't give me that message again. So if I come back here, um, hello Pearl Mongers, and go to run this, then you can see my first result and then my second result. And again, if you don't like seeing that each time, you can go in here and uh, just delete the output file that was created. So that's the basics of setting it up to be able to work with Text Wrangler. Uh, so you don't have to install Perl on a Windows, on a Mac machine, but you do on Windows. And I have a separate video for uh, setting it up on Windows. So you're good to go and ready to get started in developing and creating more Perl programs.